Welcome back to Nostalgia vs. Reality, where we look at the games that defined my childhood, whether they've held up or not. Today we're looking at Genome, released for the PC in 1997 and developed by 7th Level. Despite the fact that I haven't managed to look at any of them yet in this series, mech games were one of my favorite types of games as a kid. There are giant robots blowing each other up after all. Genome is certainly not the best mech game ever made, but it was the first one I ever played, a pack-in with some ancient beige box that my parents bought. As might be expected of a Windows 95 pack-in game, Genome has a terribly rote and generic story that has absolutely no effect on the gameplay itself. Put simply, you're constantly given reasons to go from one end of the map to the other, shooting enemy mechs over and over again. These missions are repetitive to the point of tedium, and by the time I reached the final mission, I probably could have done it while asleep. Thankfully, there is at least some variety in how the missions look. There are four different environments, but while the textures that are used for the landscapes change, the landscapes themselves remain remarkably similar. Sure, you have your desert, tundra, plains, and volcanic zones, all skinned to look pretty okay, but every single one of them is surrounded by huge mountains, and the textures themselves are so pixelated that it's kind of hard to tell what it's even supposed to be. While Genome's world may not hold up under scrutiny, the mechs themselves certainly do. Surprisingly enough, the mech models in this game look far better than those in MechWarrior 2, the dominant mech game at the time. Of course, everything else about MechWarrior looks far better, but hey, pretty robots. While horrific mission design and bad environment textures aren't doing the game any favors, Genome really falls down when it comes to actually playing the game. Like most mech games, keyboard and mouse controls are practically non-existent, and the game is completely reliant on the joystick. The problem is that while most mech games require extremely precise control input, Genome included, the game responds sluggishly to any sort of input seemingly struggling to keep up and leading to countless undeserved deaths. So, does Genome hold up to my childhood memories of it? Put simply, no. The well-designed mechs of Genome cannot make up for the slow-to-respond controls and extremely repetitive mission design that make what was a huge part of my childhood borderline unplayable today. If you want to play a good mech game, there are all sorts of Mech Warrior games out there, Mech Warrior 2 probably being the best. Go play that instead. I wish I would have played that when I was a kid instead of this.